Sean, Katie, Katie, Sean. X Men. <laughs> Calm down. X Men. X Men ninety seven. The X Men. For as much as everyone loves um, Patrick Stewart and Hugh Jackman, this is this is my X Men. Any measuring stick that that mm. you know comes with an X Men film. Is always going to be animated. Measured once. up to this, yes. Literally, my child. Although I was born in '96, I grew up on these X Men. Okay, is this like a remake or? It's a, uh, it's a continuation, as far as I know. Oh, so it's like a new season. Yeah. Oh. Um, it was one of the things I knew that they were making it because it was one of the things that Kevin Feige announced once they purchased Fox. Hmm. Um, so I knew they were making it. Just to show you how old I am. Right, me and Nicole had a video of one of the episodes. Uh, it might have been two episodes where um, Wolverine and uh, no, sorry, Cyclops and Jane Grey get kidnapped by Sinister. Thanks, thanks to the help of Morph, who sort of tricks them. It was really cool, <laughs> but, then, <laughs> but then then Cyclops sort of saves the day because this was back when Cyclops was really cool. Mm. You know, really, really okay. cool. The leader of the X Men. But let's watch. If I don't hear the theme tune, then I will be disappointed. That's all I care about. Watch the series finale of X Men next Saturday morning. <laughs> Check your local listings. I'm grateful to have the chance to say goodbye. I am proud of you all, my X Men. Fate lies in our hands now. Now. It's gonna be weird hearing the voices. I don't know if it's the same voice voice actors. We <laughs> have to stay vigilant. The professor entrusted us with his dream. Sounds a little bit like Cyclops, I suppose. No matter how dark it is. We must believe in each other. <laughs> Get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. All right, that doesn't sound like Wolverine. This is the music. To me, my X Men. Magneto, the last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything he built now belongs to me. I think I just wait a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, everything's so cool. Go on then. <laughs> Name everyone. I'm gonna make me do this. Yep. Obviously Cyclops. Yep. Storm. Yep. Gambit. Gambit, yeah, yeah. Rogue. Yep. Wolverine. Yep. Beast. Yep. I don't these two at the ends. You've I, as far as I know you, you've never seen him in an X Men film. Definitely seen him. But he didn't look like that. An X Men film. An older X Men or newer X Men? Days of Future Past you saw him. Bishop. Bishop? In Days of Future Past. You know the guy who went with um, Kitty back into the past to warn Ah, uh, yes, yes, Bishop. yes. Bishop. Is, he, is that the one that like absorbs the energy in the In this, I don't know if he does that in this, but he's from the future. I see, okay. He comes back, as far as I can remember, he comes back to kill Cable when Cable comes back to kill someone. Okay. This is done it now, I'm gonna to have to go back and watch the entire series again. And whom is this person? Morph. Ah, oh, that's not a fucker. Um look at them all. So there's a few changes, obviously as you can imagine. Storm didn't have shaved sides in the original, she had just long white hair. I imagine they've done that to make her look a bit more like the film. 
Because okay. as far as I mean, I've never read any X Men comics, but as far as I know, I don't know if she had long, just normal long flowing white hair, or if she had shaved hairs, mm. shaved head. But you know, in Apocalypse, she had a shaved head. Didn't yeah. She? Um, favorite character? <laughs> Probably Gambit. <laughs> He looked cool there. I feel like it didn't do him justice in the. What oh, yeah, absolutely. Was it? Wasn't it? it was, was Wolverine, X-Men wasn't it? Origins, yeah. yeah. A- absolutely, it didn't X-Men do him. He just kind of took cards around, didn't he? That is what he does. I know, but that's like all he did. He didn't like yeah. do anything. He does have a staff, as far as I can remember. It looks like he's given Wolverine some energy. That's so cool. Ugh. That's so cool. He's just riding Wolverine. Of course he is. This is, this is normal Wolverine. Like. Expectant Wolverine, <coughs> proper like animalistic, hunched over, mm. you know. Awesome, he's awesome. Rogue. Anyone who was anyone who watched this show fancied Rogue, even as a as a cartoon. I assume Rogue's better in oh, animation than yeah. she is in the movies. Absolutely, she is. So is that pregnant Jane? Yeah, pregnant Jane. Who by this point has gone through the Dark Phoenix saga. Mm. So hopefully we don't see any more of that. Isn't that like don't they have a daughter? And doesn't the daughter become <laughs> Phoenix? Um yeah, that's Bishop. Mm. That looks like I might, might be doing that thing there. Yeah. You know who that is? Jubilee? Jubilee, yep. Couldn't quite remember the name. She's mainly the the main character in the majority of the series. Mm. Because she's like. Think, did you not show me the first episode where the the sentinel the sen, is it sentinels the sentinels are wrapped you. around the they go and save her? Yeah. Yeah, they do. I wonder why he's looking like that. Um. Yeah, Beast is a poet. Every line he says is some kind of rhyme or, you know. Mm. But this. Did a really good job of showing um, how sort of disliked the mutants are by regular humans mm. back in the day. Like people didn't like mutants. This was the nineties, you understand. No one liked mutants back then. Yeah. Um, but as far as I can remember, I didn't think Professor X died. I think he was wounded, but I'm sure he left Earth with someone called Lalandra. To sort of heal, he did. He does leave the X Men to Magneto, as far as I can remember, because Magneto sort of becomes good. So he does leave. He does leave the X Men with them, with him. Daily Bugle. Hmm. Is Spider Man in mutant? Oh, we're gonna get. That'd be awesome. I think they have done. Cro- I think they did do crossovers. I'm pretty sure Wolverine. Um. Does have a crossover at one point with Spider-Man, with the '90s Spider-Man, which is another legendary animation. Um, these two characters were also in the series. She can blend in. I think he can turn into inanimate objects. As far as I can remember, there's a bit where they sort of hide from people who are chasing them. <sighs> what a life! That's like the, the OJ. Yeah. Um, so in this one, obviously Jane and Scott, have, you know, married. Um, Wolverine does fancy Jane. Uh, Beast has a girlfriend. I say girlfriend, a scientist woman who likes him. He likes her, but because he's big and blue and furry, I don't think it particularly goes anywhere. Gambit fancies Rogue. Because of course he does. Um, and Xavier, I think, fancies this woman called Alandra, who, I th- who I th- I'm sure he left with. I'm sure he left Earth with her. It looks a lot like um, the What If animation style. Mm. You know? Yeah. There's a few bits, like, that looks a little bit like. That looks What If ish. When did it say? March. March 20th. March. I don't think it's I'm not gonna... far away. I don't think I'm going to be able to wait. I'll have to go back and watch everything. all of it. Yeah, everything again. Yeah, I wonder why Morph's doing this for. 
Because he had a normal look. Uh, that was his normal look. Mm. Unless it's not Morph. But Morph is one of the original characters in the beginning of the show. I always liked the idea of, of Cyclops being the leader. I liked, I preferred it that way. I assumed if Xavier was going to die or leave, then Cyclops would be in charge. Because that's, that's what he trains Cyclops to do. Mm. I know in the series they do it so that Storm does it. Uh, in the film, sorry. They do it so that Storm takes over. But despite what people may believe, Cyclops is the leader of the X-Men. Yeah. Does it ever really, like, reference that? I can't remember. In the movie. Movies. Uh, it does until he dies. And then it's just like, oh. Yeah. Because then Xavier does say to Storm, I, I hoped you would take over one day, doesn't he? he says that to Halle Berry. Mm. Which she does when Xavier dies, but then Xavier doesn't die because he comes back. So it's kind of like, well, what was the point? Yeah, in this version, Rogue uh, accidentally touched Carol Danvers for too long. Yeah, I think I remember And absorbed that, yeah. all of her powers. So she can, like, fly and... Fly, super strength, next to invulnerable. She's awesome. She is the heavy hitter in the group. Mm. Literally the, the the big heavy hitter. But it also means that you can't kiss Gambit. I shipped them too really hard when I was younger. <laughs> um, I didn't really care about Wolverine and Jean. I was, I don't care. But just because Gambit was really cool and Rogue was Rogue, you know, everyone fancied Rogue. Anyone who ever, who ever I'm pretty sure there's, there's scenes that I can remember where she's drawn specifically to be provocative let's say that way like she'd be lying down and she's you know she's lying down very sort of casually and the way she's animated is meant to be provocative to lads mm. I can't remember what um, what episode was there was another one might have been that episode actually what we had on video because I think Morph tricks Gambit into kissing her while she's sleeping <coughs> and he because he kisses her when she's not morph, she absorbs some of his strength. I think, yeah. I think that's that's. What was I talking about? Oh, she's provo yeah, she's supposedly provocative. <coughs> but I'm sure there was another one. There was another one where she's lying down backwards, and for some reason, she's got a really accentuated buttocks. This is the kind of stuff I remember from my childhood. It's because of things like this that I am who I am. See, does that not just look very what if? It looks very what if there. Mm -hmm. Ah, that might not be Morph, you know. It might be someone else. They've obviously been out um, playing some ridiculous American sport because, you know, Cyclops is wearing a vest that shows off his muscles. Wolverine isn't wearing anything to show off his muscles. Jane's wearing a referee top yeah. and a whistle. Because she can't play because she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Beast is wearing shorts, I assume, because he's big and he's muscular. Gambit doesn't have a shirt on, rightfully so. <sighs> Does Rogue always wear that suit? I think so. Makes sense, doesn't it? Mm. Say she was like dressed up like one of these, and she accidentally bumped into like Cyclops. She would. She would absorb some of his. Energy. Yeah. That's just the same with her face though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but they're not gonna bump faces, are they? Well, they might. She might go ahead of her ball and No, it. they they don't play a football in America. No. Oh. They play a worse version called soccer. I don't care about insulting people because this is my childhood now, so I'm I'm <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, look, Bishop's got the got the M on his face. Mm. From the future when Obviously, all mutants have been tattooed. It also shows you the Sentinels as well, which I thought they got rid of, because Bolivar Trask is in it, who was in uh, Days of Future Past, the bad guy in mm -hmm. Days of Future Past. Um, who else is in it? Moira McTaggart was in it, although I don't think she has a romance with Xavier at all. What other characters was on? Obviously, Cable's in it. Um, <coughs> but 
it wasn't Josh Brolin, so <coughs> you don't need to worry. Yeah, there's a Sentinel there. They're massive, aren't they? Yeah. These are the... You know, in one of the X-Men, I think it was the third one, when they're in the training room, the mm-hmm. danger room, and, you know, Iceman and Shadow Cat and, and Storm and Wolverine and Colossus are all trying to fight a Sentinel, and Wolverine's just kind of casually walking past and he's, he's saying that they can't do anything because they're all crap and then he gets chucked and he cuts the head off and it comes down and shows you the head of the sentinel mm. it's meant to look like these right it's a nod to this to this uh, show which is a bit it's a bit baffling that they never just continued the show it messed me up a little bit because I had to you know I had to live with X-Men The Last Stand on DVD instead of X Men the last one wasn't that bad. It was bad. Wasn't that bad. It was really bad. Phoenix was terrible. Killed off Cyclops for no reason. Killed off Xavier for no reason, only to bring him back later on. Well why how come he gets to come back but Cyclops doesn't bring Cyclops back? Mm. Cy- the worst character in all in the, the the more modern films is Cyclops. This is the best version of Cyclops. Because in in the episode that I was talking about that we had on video, um, he gets caught up, like he gets tied up, and he can't do anything. So he has to take his glasses off, so he has to keep his eyes closed. Um, but it's only when he gets sort of released that they completely own everyone because Sinister can't hack his laser beams. That's the kind of Cyclops I want. I don't. I don't want. As much as I like James Marsden, because I do like James Marsden, I don't want. His Cyclops. What was the other kid called? Do you know what the other kid is called? I don't know. Because there's a kid in X-Men Origins Wolverine who's got a completely different origin to to the one that was in... Um, Which one was he in? Apocalypse? He was in Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix, wasn't he? I think so. I didn't want him as, as Cyclops either. I like the suit that he got at the end of Apocalypse. Mm. But then he doesn't wear the suit in the next film. <laughs> We talked about that the other day and none of them do. They all get good looking suits and then it's just... Yeah, like what's the point? Because they wanted the yellow suits, didn't they? Two, two, right? These are the best suits! They're finally giving Wolverine... <coughs> well, they're not giving him that suit because for some reason Hugh Jackman doesn't want to show off his gigantic arms. But he's given, they're giving him a version of that suit but that is the yeah. best Wolverine suit. That's a ridiculously cool suit. But who's got the best suit? That's the question. Who do you think's got the best suit? It doesn't really show you Jean's suit because, to be perfectly honest, Jean's a bit. Her suit's a bit rubbish. Her suit's just blue. Who's got the best suit? Hmm. You can't say Beast because he's just wearing pants. I wasn't going to say Beast. Um. I mean, I like all of them. Wolverine has a good suit. Hmm. I also like how he's got the, the things. The gaps for his... Yeah. So he's not constantly ripping his gloves. I never thought that... Even though I watched the shows, I never thought that at any point those claws were coming out of his fists. Even though I watched the show and there is scenes... What did you think? They were coming out of the club? Yeah. I was a bit okay. stupid as a child. Let's face it. Yeah. But look at Gambit's flowing red hair in his suit. <laughs> That's not part of the suit, that's just his hair. Come on, you know you're cool when you wear a trench coat <coughs> with your suit. He has to wear the trench coat because he's got to have the collapsible cane, uh, not the cane, the collapsible stick, all the cards. Mm. And he's... French? Well, his name's Remy Le Beau, so I assume he's French. You know, they, they had him in... In X Men Origins, and for some reason he just spoke with an American accent. Yeah. Even though in the thing he's called Remy Labour. Like, mm-hmm. give the guy a French accent. I love how Storm is just so different from everyone else. They're all like wearing bits of yellow, and it's like, yeah. Yeah, she's got yellow trims. Yeah. But she's got two X's on her because you know that she's awesome. Wolverine doesn't have a single X on him. Hmm. Cyclops has got one on his heart because 
you know, symbolism. Mm. Does Beast have one? I think so. I think he's got one on the on the waistband of his pants. <coughs> Morph has. He's got the jacket. If that even is Morph, it might not even be Morph. I'm just assuming it's Morph because Morph's there at the end. Because Morph initially gets is thought to be killed in the in the in the show, but gets sort of taken by uh, Sinister, and it's up to his friends to pull him from the abyss. And when I say his friends, I mean Wolverine, because Wolverine blames Cyclops for Morph getting hurt initially. That's why them two don't like each other, because he goes right. where he wants. Wolverine, he does what he wants. Mm-hmm. But it was one of those shows. I feel like it's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be the same. It never actually showed you anyone getting hurt. That's why the majority of the time the the bad guys were robots because they can hurt robots. Nobody cares about robots. Um, but like Gambit, Gambit ways. would throw a card at the ground <coughs> at someone instead of just throwing it at that someone. Mm. Cyclops never blasted anyone and killed them with his with his gags. Like he never killed Sinister. He just sort of green gooed him a little bit. Right. But Banshee's also in it. Banshee was in it. As a bad guy. There was a thing that turned into a ball and sort of hit hit people with themselves. <laughs> it was really cool. Lady Death Strikes in it as well. A better version, I think. Because she's in the second X Men film. Doesn't really talk. No. But she's I can't remember what she's called. Shuriko or something like that. But she knows Wolverine. And she also doesn't, right. you know how in the films the sort of the things come out of her fingertips. Just fingernails, yeah. Um, and this, she's just, just got gigantic hands. Oh. Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. But it's awesome. <coughs> There's also Mojo World. What? There's also Mojo World. Mojo World. Yeah, they get kidnapped and turned into light entertainment on a different on a different planet. Okay. Um, which is the planet that. What's his name? Rusty is from Deadpool 2. What's it called? It's called Shatterstar or something like that, isn't he? The guy with the red hair that was yeah. in the guy that was in the red hair. He's from Planet Planet Mojo World. I wanna see these X Men in the Deadpool film. You might. I wanna see this this Wolverine, this Cyclops, <coughs> and for goodness sake, I wanna see this gambit. Give me this gambit. Who's overly flirtatious with Rogue and Rogue is sort of flirtatious with him, right, but she's sort of she doesn't want him to get too close because obviously he can't, they can't be together because if she kisses him then he'll die mm. um, but then when he flirts with other women she's very jealous and gets upset rightfully so <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen someone get so I've never said he gets so into something as much as you are then. I'm so excited for this I'm going to have to go watch the entire show now it's already take me a day because <laughs> you just won't sleep and they're only 20 minutes long so I'll just fly through them all anyway that's enough of my tw- you've really got an attention tw- 20 minute rant uh, let us know what you think down in the comments uh, was this your childhood what was your favourite episode I've probably seen it um, with the way you've been going on you have yeah because there's certain episodes that I I didn't like there's one where Xavier and Magneto go to the, the place that it shows you um, the the pyramid place, and because like all mutant powers get sort of nulled when they're there, that might not be it, but it it looks like it. Um, because all mutant powers get lulled, you know, Xavier can walk and mm. Magneto can't do anything because he's crap. Um, they have to rely on a guy with a tiger. Okay. Yeah. To save yeah, the place. A bit but then it turns out that Magneto was actually the creator of the place. And that he wanted Charles there to come there to rule, and ugh, it was really convoluted. I didn't like that episode. Hmm. Still good though. Yeah, let us know what you think down in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, ding the bell, and notify when we upload. We upload every day. This is our two weeks of just trailers. I know it's always this time of year, isn't it? When yeah. stuff's coming out. Yeah. What did I say? Did I say the whole like the video thing? Anything else you want to say? I might watch the, just so I know so I assume we'll be watching it with the way you're going on oh yeah so, <laughs> so yeah we will I don't know if we're going to react to it or if I'm just going to watch it yourself but what do you want to watch the animated show do you 
do you want me to watch animated show? Maybe. Because okay. <laughs> I'm watching this as soon as it comes out. <laughs> Literally, the hour that it comes out, I'll be watching the whole thing. There'll be about 20 episodes, but I'll watch it in the first day. Breathe. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I've never seen you so passionate over something This like is that. my childhood. I'm still looking at this. Let's go back to the cool Avengers shot. Uh, They're X-Men. Yeah, you know what I mean. The Avengers, Iron Man wouldn't have died if these X-Men were there. Thanos would have been history. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, anything else you want to say? No, we've already done that. No? We've already done that. Thank you for watching. Moments passed. I need to know!